right, people waiting for me. I made too many takes on this, and I need to hurry my ass up. So, what's good, YouTube, man? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boring HTX man, and I'm here with another Sony Vegas tutorial. Now, this Sony Vegas tutorial is crucial. Nowadays, everybody posts long form content and short form content, and a key asset that you need is subtitles. Not only does it help give the viewer like some sort of like context as to what the hell the video is about, it always keeps the viewer engaged. Let's be honest, a lot of us have terrible attention spans nowadays, so constant moving subtitles and pictures flashing all the time helps keep us engaged which means higher watch time more than likely to click the like button and watch the whole video meaning you get more views and you get more followers so without any further ado let's get this money man let's go now for context purposes i'm using sony vegas 18 for this i'm gonna go ahead and use this one and plus the dimensions are already right so before we even start doing this if you're doing this on a new project you want to go to the project settings at the top of your preview window you click this and then once you click it uh you got to make sure the width is at 1080 and height at 1920 that is the vertical portrait format that we want for short form content now if you want to add subtitles all you really have to do is you want to have a video track or as i do right here it's called thumbnail track you want to right click somewhere on it click insert text media bam you got your text all right text boom boom we got text in the motherfucking mix you know what i'm saying the thing you have to notice is the text looks gigantic on the preview window sony vegas has text to automatically fit with like a landscape type of view which is 1920 by 1080 which is landscape 16 by 9 which is the opposite of what we're doing right here for short form content so obviously in order to shrink this all you want to do is you want to look at the slider right here the slider is called scale now, when you slide a slider down to the left, you know what I'm saying? You slide down to the left, you see these little uh, corners that you can adjust, you can move the text as you want to. Yeah, you can shrink it, you make it bigger as you want to, but you need to be able to see these. So, first, you want to do is you want to go to scale and you want to shrink it down. Now, another key tip that helps a lot with subtitles is you want your subtitles to be centered in the middle of the screen. It's not one of those things that's a must, but if your subtitles aren't in the center of the screen, your video looks dog shit no offense so in order to center it you need to go to this this other field it's called location now with this there are coordinates and they're on a scale from zero to one now right in the middle is 0.5 anything that's 0.5 with either of these coordinates means it's centered so the first one is x the second one is y y'all have done algebra and stuff like that right so the first one is x so if i make x 0.5 it's centered horizontally if i make the second one 0.5 it is centered vertically and if they're both and if they're both 0.5 that means it's centered in the middle of the screen but for the sake of this video i don't want them centered in the middle of the screen so you got to take into consideration that platforms like tiktok and instagram they have their little borders at the bottom where they have your name they have the description the hashtags so the last thing you want is the text to be covered by that or in the way of it where it's even harder for somebody to read so my ideal y coordinate is usually 28 so let's call it like 28 right now for the text font, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. The best font that I like using is space calming. Let me select all the text, select all of it. You go to text uh, to change the fonts. This little drop down there right here. You go down here, you look for, I'm gonna use space comic. You can use whatever you want to. By the way, if you don't have any downloaded fonts, the best font I'd recommend using is I. Press I on your keyboard and you got impact. Impact, I've been using an impact font for like a couple years now. This was one of the golden ones. I use this for every single video I have, but now I've been using Space Comic lately. Let me show you where Space Comic at. Oh, also one thing with Space Comics, all the text needs to be cap uh, in all caps. So let's do, let's go ahead and type the words. What was the first thing I said in this video? Let's see, what was the first thing I said in this video? Well, I said, well, so after what you want to do is you want to, if you want to reopen the, uh, the little window that was just open, you want to select it and you see this little button right here, right? It's this blue button. It's always going to be glowing blue or it's going to uh, show generated media whenever you hover over it you click the button and then when you click on it then you just go in here you click inside the little text box and whenever you start typing you could type uh i said a whoop so let's type whoop with three dots boom 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 now another thing that helps a lot is you always want the text to be center aligned because no matter how you format it no matter how many spaces you have you may have an extra line of text right under it but the main thing that you want to make sure is that you want to make sure all of it is center aligned so you want to control a to select all the text and then you want to come up here and click this button for center aligning so between these three buttons this is left aligned this is center aligned this is right aligned you always want to click center align because no matter what text you add you want to make sure it's center aligned no matter what so now that we have the text centered we have it at the right spot to where it's not intrusive in anything and it's not over my face cam you want to click one of the corners right here you want to shrink it down to where it's a feasible size i say that's a feasible size right there and now the next thing you want to make sure you want to add is you have to have an outline you have to have an outline you might get flashbang and you need text to pop up. The way the flashbangs work on Mono for 2 
you can't see anything besides the flashbang you know what i'm saying so you definitely need your text outlines to pop up and go through there's a little drop down little field right here it's called outline and there's outline width and color now for the width i would say put this at call it seven when you put it at seven it automatically pops up and it changes there but you also want to make sure that it is black because the outline cannot match the color of the text so you go to outline you want to click or you want to drag this up a little bit it's a little window actually i lied you can't drag this up at all you want to click this little drop down area right here and it's always h s l h s l is going to have black in the bottom right hand corner so with this this is almost like a little color dropper like teardropper type of thing you can click and drag this to like the bottom right to make sure that it is completely why is this thing not dragging you want to make sure for the outline that the text uh outline width is somewhere between seven and eight doesn't matter that much if it's in between the two not really but i recommend putting it to seven off rip so now that we got that you want to make sure hey, as always you want to make sure you save your project do not edit a bunch and not save the project because all it takes is for sony vegas to say we gonna crash and you have to go to the mat task manager and task we got to force close the app and now everything you did is completely wiped so make sure you're saving all the time hey hey i'm watching you better be saving your projects bro so now all you want to do is you want to go to the start of the video and bam well and the text pops up as is also by the way to pre-render just in case you want to make sure that it flows smoothly uh select a little uh you want to click and hold on your mouse left click hold this blue region pops up hold shift b and you pre-rendered the uh, segment that you have highlighted what what so the text what? pops up right but it just pops up but it doesn't do anything right so what i want to do is i want this text to i want it to pop up when it comes in right now for this part you can kind of do it to your own demise you can do whatever you want to but for the sake of this you want the first we're going to be keyframing by the way we're going to be keyframing by the way it's an advanced step this honestly helps with the movement of the text and it just helps viewers stay engaged with the video now for the very first keyframe you want to zoom out a little bit because by zooming out you want the text to be backwards and a little smaller and then later on it comes in at full size that way text is constantly flying at your face so the first thing you want to do is you want to click on the first keyframe and you want to make sure it's zoomed out as is now what you want to do is you want to click this first keyframe with the little arrow keys if you have arrow keys you can do that if you want to but you want to click over one two three four five and six exactly six keyframes over you want to right click within this space and click restore what will happen is is that at the start of the text is zoomed back but as it goes on it pops up in front of you that way it sort of like flies forward in front of you so to speak so when we do that and we replay it looks like this well well the text sort of goes back and comes in and flies at you towards the screen now if watching this from a phone screen the text is going to look a lot bigger and it's going to be a lot more engaging but since we're on this little preview with it right here it's hard to see the effects of it now for the rest of the subtitles the one thing you want to make sure of is that it syncs up with your voice so for example right here well voice cuts off right here but i can keep the word whelp up until i start talking again now let's say for example i want some more text right but let's say i want the text to be the same font I want it to be the same outline. I want to have the same exact effect right here with the little keyframing effect. I want to keep it all the same exact way and I don't want to have to redo it for each and every single word that I say. Trust me, it's easy. All you gotta do is you wanna right click on it, Control C, come right here, Control V. Now with things like text, right? Anything that's an N, uh, generated media is gonna show up like this. One or more events you have chosen to paste contains generated media. Thing you always want to press is create a new copy of the source media. The thing is, if I click create a reference to the original media, watch what it's gonna do. You see how this says whelp, right? And this says whelp, right? Let's say I wanna change this to high. Let's say I put this to high, right? Guess what's gonna happen with the first clip? That changes as well. We don't want that. I don't want the second clip to mimic what's on the first one i want them to be two entirely separate entities so what we're going to do is Control z Control z and want to Control v and you want to make sure create a new copy of the source media is selected that way you can have whatever you want to in this text box and it's not going to affect the first one so obviously what you want to do is i said what did i say right here i left my hack i left my i left so let's do i left now the thing with making subtitles is you have to sync everything up it's sort of just a guessing game it's just one of those things you just have to get used to doing it is time consuming and it is tedious but it's just something that you gotta do so without any further ado we're just gonna be doing a series of copy and pasting copy and pasting changing the subtitles changing the text and we're gonna be syncing it up with the rest of the words that i'm saying and as you can see with any of them you still have the effect where it flies towards you 
after six frames. Okay, so now if I'm not mistaken, I think a majority of the subtitles should be done. Now, everybody knows that when you edit in Sony Vegas, the preview doesn't exactly match up with the actual speed of the rest of the clip. So all you wanna do is uh, left click, hold, select the region that you wanna play, shift B on your keyboard in order to pre-render it. And then once you do pre-render it, you wanna press the space bar to press play. Well, I left my hacks on while I was playing Call of Duty. One neat addition that I just added to this video is that I added a sort of like a loading machine gun sound effect to give the context of Call of Duty. Call of Duty, sort of to match up with the words Call of Duty. And the thing with syncing your subtitles together, I get it guys, it's time consuming. It takes a decent amount of time to sync up the subtitles and stuff. But the thing that y'all gotta understand is, bro, it's just one of those things that you just have to just get better at doing. You gotta do it over and over again. You gotta listen. You gotta, you gotta, my hacks, my hacks, my hacks. Over and you gotta play the audio over and over and over again to make sure you have it synced up. That's just something that you gotta do. If you enjoyed this video and this tutorial helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and you're not gonna know when I drop another one of these bangers if you do not hit the bell icon to get the notifications for the next time I post a video. But alright, y'all, without further ado, it's your boy Ranks. I'm playing some Fortnite. I'm out of here. Peace.